Hi everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Come on. My name is Janae Chanel and if you're new here, if you're new here and you like fashion, beauty, and lifestyle related content, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Today I'm recording from my bathroom for legal reasons, but it's fine, you know, it's fine. We're recording from the bathroom and we're going to be doing a topic video. I know I said I was going to start doing these and I've only done one so far, so I wanted to do one today. So while I make my topic video today, I'm going to be doing my makeup. Um, I was going to do a painting one, but I'm going to actually do that in my next topic video. So for today, we're just going to do a get ready with me and we're going to be talking about the topic of change. And change comes in a lot of different aspects of your life. For now in my life, I can already say that I want to see a lot of change for myself. I'm already working on a lot of change for myself. And that's mainly my goal this year, to be honest, to change everything in my life. Like, I'm working on getting a car, working on moving out, everything. And soon, too. So, I definitely know that I'll be able to do it, but those are the changes that I'm mostly focusing in my life right now. But I think it's important to recognize change and learn how to either adapt to it, accept it, or let it push you to do something else instead of it having a negative effect on you. Because I know for a lot of people, change is a touchy type of subject because a lot of people don't like change and there's nothing wrong with that at all. But I think it's more beneficial if you take the change and do something with it instead of just letting it bring you down and that's what i'm mainly going to be focusing on today <laughs> so first we're going to be starting off with our eyebrows today today's makeup look isn't going to be too dramatic or nothing like that it's going to honestly be pretty regular so don't expect too much on the makeup aspect but i do have a lot to say so hopefully you'll see here and maybe you'll do your makeup with me and we'll just you know about things but for the most part i want to talk about change in different places like you have changed mentally, you have changed physically, things like that, things of that nature. And that is what I mainly want to focus on today. Start, we're going to be talking about change mentally. Um, I know for a lot of people, and right now, everything is very uncertain still. Even though, yes, we do have a COVID vaccine and things are looking up in a brighter direction for us. I know that it's still, everything is still very questionable for a lot of people and people don't really know what's coming next or what they're going to be doing how life is going to change again and stuff like that so i think the best thing to do when you encounter a bunch of change at once or decide that you want to change your life like i decided one day i just woke up and i was like i think i want to move out <laughs> i think i want to get a car i think i want to really really get my life together and since that day, I've been working towards it every single day in many different ways, many different aspects. There's not only one way to work towards things. I want to make sure that is something I say. You know, as soon as you want to make a change, I think it's important to commit to helping that change happen. Does that make sense? I'm back. I'm trying to fix my eyebrows up because I really messed them up. Like, I don't know what I was just doing in that last video, but I'm mm, trying to fix my eyebrows up. But yeah, like I was saying, back to change. When you want to see change happen or when change happens, and definitely either way, the best thing I think that you can do to combat this change is to make the best of it, see what you can do with it, um, and try your best to let the change benefit you rather than take away from you or set you back and if it's a change that you're intending on then you need it should put a fire in you or kind of make you you know want to get up and do something make the change happen anything of that nature my face is so like dead right now i don't know why that's so weird like my face never looks it recently it has but i don't know why it's been like this i mean i took an exam today so maybe that has something to do with it <laughs> but change happens it's gonna happen regardless so if anything i think it's important for you to recognize the change or recognize that change is happening or is coming and do your best to adapt to it I feel like i already said that a hundred times but that's the main point i'm trying to get across in this video now all of these points that i just spoke about have to do with mental change changing your mental and next we're going to be talking about physical change but I wanted to emphasize mental because I feel like mentally changing is a lot more complex and it, you know, affects a lot more than actually physical. That's just my opinion. That's why I wanted to talk about that one first and I wanted to emphasize on it because as people, as individuals, we want to do the best we can. Like, life is not easy, so however we can make life easier, I think we should. I'm sorry that my voice is so mellow and chill today. Today's been a little bit much for me, so that's why. 
And I'm sorry if it's coming across like negatively because I'm not trying to have that kind of effect. I just can't, I can't fake. Like I can't pretend like I'm just so happy go lucky right now when I'm not. And that's okay to not always be happy go lucky. I think that's pretty reasonable. And if nobody recognizes that, then it would be bad. But if you didn't know that, I'm telling you now, it's okay to have off days or bad days that aren't the best or what you intended for that day to be. It's perfectly fine. And that needs to be more normalized. <laughs> But I finished my eyebrows, they look kind of weird, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what's going on with me lately, but my eyebrows have not been coming out that cute. They'll do. They're reasonable enough. <laughs> I'm gonna just put on my eyelashes. Alright y'all, I'll put my eyelashes on on camera, but it's just honestly gonna take too long of a video. So, I'll be back after they're on. Okay, I got them back and I put my eyelashes on. I already feel better after putting these on. I need to get some new concealer. I'm running really low on concealer, to be honest. And that sucks. But I use this, I'm gonna use this really light one only right there and i just started doing this again i used to do it um a few years ago but i stopped because i thought it would look a little weird and it honestly probably did but recently it's been looking pretty good so. and i don't wear foundation anymore i literally then stopped wearing foundation and i only wear concealer so that's that <laughs> but as we were saying back to change physical change for me i can give you an example when i came home or when I graduated high school, I gained a lot of weight. And that was, ugh, that was something that was really, it really affected me. It was a big change for me. And a lot of people didn't know that, but I definitely gained a lot of weight. And that was a change that was really hard to me, for me to adapt to. Like, and I mean like a lot of weight. Like I could not even fit any of my clothes or nothing like that. And I know everyone says that's normal and everything. And I don't think that it's not. However, it's not, I'm not my ideal size. Like there's nothing wrong with me. I think that my weight is fine. However, I just would like to be a little smaller or a little bit more in shape. If anything, that's really the goal because I have not been doing my job working out, so I'm not really in shape. But that's one of the physical changes that happened to me and that I had to adapt to. So I know that it's gonna be a lot, but physical change is one of the heaviest underrated things to adapt to, and we're gonna talk about it. Honestly, I don't have too much advice, I have some advice though for physical change but because it's happened to me and i'm still dealing with it trying to you know figure it all out i'm not gonna lie i don't have too much advice on how to deal with it but i do recommend that you don't think of it as a negative thing or something that makes you you know feel down about yourself or something like that this is physical strictly physical change but as well as like moving like or relocating or like for example schools closed and i know that affected a lot of students including me but mostly younger like middle school high school level i know that definitely had a rigorous <laughs> i don't even know if that's the right word but i know it definitely had an effect on students that age because when you're that young like school is really all you have to do <laughs> you don't have real like responsibilities or nothing in my opinion i know some kids do and it's you know dependent upon your situation but in general kids don't have too much to worry about and they don't have like too much that they put on themselves or that they should put on themselves if you know what i mean so so I like that, I think it's important to try to be optimistic future and remember that this isn't forever. And when things change, they're gonna change again. Change is ever continuing, almost like a cycle. It always happens in every aspect of your life. So, well, not everything, but most for the most part, yeah, everything actually. <laughs> so I would just recommend that when you think about change, you don't think about it in a way that's just present but like maybe you can think about it in a way that'll affect your future or make you feel better about something i don't know but change as a general subject is something that i feel like people don't necessarily teach you how to handle or like they just be like oh it's okay like it'll be fine but sometimes it really isn't for a lot of people and i think that people don't accept the fact that people don't feel okay all the time or they are not okay with change all the time so they just expect them to be happy go lucky and that's not always going to be the case so i think it's important to recognize that change does happen and yes it's not something that you can really prevent most of the time so yes it is important to adapt to it and not let it tear you down but at the same time if it does tear you down or does make you feel a little bit out of it or you know what i'm saying that's completely fine people are people at the end of the day hopefully that makes sense i'm not really sure i need this brush in a while <laughs> oh god that looks like a burnt something burnt over here on the side of my face oh god i hate that maybe that's why i keep using this brush. oh my gosh what am i even gonna do this is a little bit too good for me i'm gonna try to fix this though so 
I poop. Just opened this loose powder and it got all over my shirt. That's so ghetto. But I think I kind of cleaned it up. My makeup mistake could happen. Well, I cleaned it up enough, I guess. Cleaned it up as much as I could. It still looks pretty bad when I turn to the side. But not really much I can do about that. So I'm gonna try to blend this out. I wonder what I was saying about change. I know this whole type of video was on change. And if anything, I hope that what I'm saying makes sense to someone, anyone. So I'm not just talking a bunch of rubbish, but I'm gonna try to be present on camera, you know. I don't wanna miss any upload. I've been really consistent on YouTube and I feel like I like that kind of consistency. So I'm giving up with it. But I'm almost done with my makeup. I'm just gonna take this color palette lipstick and use it as like an outline. I don't have my lip liner right now. I got a new fancy lip gloss. It's a mini one, but it was a mini set, so I got it. I will get the full size one, but as you know, I'm trying to buy cars, so I just got the mini ones. Hmm. Oh my god, it smells so good. This good is perfect. And now we're done with that makeup. Here's our looking. So. To end on today's topic video, I hope that you guys, you know, got something from it and it made you think or that made sense or something like that. That's the goal of my topic videos. So I'm just gonna make sure that it had an impact, hopefully. And if you guys like this video, don't forget to like and comment. Commenting on my videos really help get my channel out there. So consider that. So thank you guys so much for watching my video. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you in our next one coming soon. Love you guys. Bye.